Hi, this is Chris and you're watching Font of Inspiration. Let's talk about spell slots, specifically how to track spell slots. Now for D&D 5e, most of you are probably using just your character sheet to track spell slots with, right? What I'll be presenting here has a bit more of a tactile feel to it, uh, almost like you're spending spell slots to be able to use spells, like a currency. What I mean is that I want to be able to have a physical pile of spell slots, uh, so to speak, that I can actually spend at the table, at the game. So what I did was take chips, kind of like poker chips, but more of a sort of a, just a generic gaming chip uh, made by Coplo, and I made my own labels for them, corresponding with the spell levels in D&D 5e. So I could make as many chips as there are spell slots available to, let's say, a wizard. For instance, a wizard can never have more than four spell slots of the same level, so there's no need to make more than four chips of, let's say, first level. Uh, you'll never have more than one ninth level spell, so you only need to make one of those. So in the end, you don't really end up having a huge pile of chips that you need to drag to the table. You just have a small pile that you can use. It's very easy. Uh, but let's go through what I did. So like I mentioned, I used these generic gaming chips. They come in a multitude of colors. These ones happen to be black, but you can, of course, uh, find the ones you like and use those. And what I did was I made my own labels, and you can find a link to a sheet of these labels in the description. Anyway, they look like this in all their simplicity. It's just a label with the spell level on it. And then, for instance, uh, let's say your uh, wizard or your character, probably not you actually, you're not a wizard, but your character is a fifth level wizard. Uh, and fifth level wizards in D&D 5e have uh, four first level spell slots, three second level spell slots, and two third level spell slots. So what you would need would be four of these tokens with a one on them, as you might guess. Uh, three with a two on them, and two with a three on them. And that's all you need for a fifth level wizard. Not a whole lot to carry around with you, but they're very useful, at least for me and I hope for you as well. It's a very tangible way to keep track of your spells. You can see how many you spent, you can see how many you still have left. It's nice to have something uh, that you can actually sort of pick up and put away, uh, almost like you're, well, playing some kind of magical poker or something. And of course you could use these for other things as well, you could uh, track inspiration with these, you could just uh, hand out blank chips for inspiration, or you could decorate them with a, maybe a small label that has an I on it, uh, the letter I, not like an eyeball, although why not that as well? And yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, you'll find a link to both the labels and the place where I bought the chips from. You can find, like I mentioned, a bunch of different colors and they're fairly useful, very lightweight. They're just under an inch. I think they're seven eighths of an inch. Uh, in diameter, so they're not too big. I, th I think they could they could almost be used as uh, monster tokens as well, if you prefer. And if you don't want to go through the trouble of making the labels, I know that not everyone has access to a uh, half inch hole punch. Oh, by the way, these are these labels are half an inch in diameter. So if you happen to have a half inch hole punch, that helps a whole lot. Uh, but if you don't want to cut them individually, uh, cut those round shapes. A thousand times, well, not a thousand, but you get the idea. Uh, you can also just, let's say, use a gold marker or any kind of marker and uh, find a blank chip and let's see, let's see if we can do this. This is going to be a red chip just because it's what I happen to have here. Now this is just the ugliest chip ever because I just found a random pen and uh, a random chip, but you can just do it like this as well. You can just write a number of these. You don't actually have to use the labels, but if you want to, they're in the description. All right, that's going to be it for me today. Thank you very much for watching and happy gaming.